Wide receivers are getting strapped today. One, two, three. Let's go. Good stuff, fellas. What's going on YouTube? Coach Isaac here today with my own five-star football package camp, coaching every single position. A lot of great stuff. I'm in a rush, so without further ado, let's get into this YouTube video. I'm pumped to have y'all here today. I'm not sure how we did. I think about everybody who signed up is here. As you can see, guys, this is not a typical camp size, which is good for you, trust me, because we're gonna get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching today. You guys are going to leave this building better football players than you came in. I've been telling people all morning, you guys can go to camps, you guys can go run drills and sprint fast and run hard and leave the building feeling tired, but not always you're gonna leave the building feeling a better football player. You're gonna go to camps. You're either going to win or you're going to lose. And regardless, you're gonna go to the back of the line and you're not gonna get coached. Today, about every single rep is going to be technically coached. The purpose of this camp is to send you guys off after the camp. You guys go to your summer camps this summer, you go to college, and you can do one-on-ones effectively. Your technique is fantastic. This is the idea of this camp, guys. The fastest way to get offers is to go to college camps and ball out, and this is a prep camp. I want you guys to play fast today. You guys can make mistakes. You guys will get coached up. If you guys hold back here, you're gonna hold back there. This is an opportunity for you guys to be able to play fast, to make mistakes, and to get coached up and again this is going to be very technical and might be a little bit slower paced in terms of the actual reps so make sure you guys are getting effective reps in we're gonna be coaching up everything so don't don't get too caught up don't get too concerned about getting all these reps everyone's gonna get even reps we're gonna start off with combine stuff over here and we're gonna work positional stuff over here my QBs are gonna be working this end of the field over here, and then everybody is really going to be rotating. You're gonna be doing your combine stuff, and you're gonna be coming with me to do positional stuff. I really want you guys to understand this. You're not going to run your best time here. If you don't wanna run, that's fine. I recommend you guys run. The reason why I'm having you guys run here is because I want you to get a baseline time so that when you go to camp this summer, you can reflect back, say, I ran a 4.8 at camp this summer, at camp this winter with Coach Isaac. Then I went to wherever and I ran a 4.6. That's good progress. And then it's also gonna give me an opportunity to work with every position. So we're gonna be rotating here, there, linebackers, DBs, receivers, running backs, basically all skills are gonna be running first with uh, Coach Jordan back here and then Coach John. Um, on the other side, and then I'm taking offensive line, defensive line first. Quarterbacks will be working technique stuff in here in the back, um, and I'm gonna press you guys through these rotations. They're gonna be quick, but if you guys don't mind, if I could just bless y'all real quick. You know, Christianity is a huge part of my life. I don't, you don't necessarily have to be a Christian to participate in this blessing right now, so if you could just bow your heads real quick with me. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I just bless these young men in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that you protect them and use them and use today for your will to be done in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And without further ado, fellas, let me introduce these coaches. So over here, we got Coach Ryan, former Division I FBS quarterback at NIU University. My QBs are in good hands today. I'm gonna work a lot of technical stuff. I got Coach Jordan over here who's gonna be bouncing around. He's got NFL experience with coaching. Another fantastic coach, another reliable coach. Um, and then I have my brother over here who's just going to be um, the, the brains behind this operation doing the numbers on the combines. Without further ado, let's get into this. Again, I got my skill guys going here. I got my O-line, D-line going here, and I got my QBs going over there. So we're gonna stretch first. I need everybody to line up on this line. Coach Jordan's gonna take you through the stretch. It's gonna be about 10 minutes. Get a good effective stretch, guys, and then we're gonna be moving out. Do your best to get the best time you can. It's not gonna be your best time. I'll get you guys all the times after camp. I'll email them all to you, so make sure you're not coming up asking people to times i'll get you them after so all my skill guys under the net and over there and we should be left with o-line and d-line yes so we don't have a ton of o-line d-line today guys so one-on-ones i mean very technical a lot of coaching so d-line three lines behind those hurdles o-line three lines in front of these cones so we're going to start with d-line but o-line you guys are going to be facing this way in front of the cone all right and be kick stepping so d-line all we're working is get off Get your stance, whatever stance, ball snap, getting off, going right foot first. Don't jump off sides. Ready, hit, hit. Just sprint, don't break down guys, just take off, take off. Real quick coaching, the reason why we're doing this is because you gotta beat the offensive line with your first, second, and third step. So just get out right now, don't worry about decel. Ready, hit. Good, explosive, explosive, explosive. O-line, here we are, we're going three kicks. 
pivot foot in your stance. Whatever stance you guys gotta get into. I know some of you guys strictly play left, some of you guys strictly play right. Go set hit, one, two, three, settle, all right? I'm gonna throw the med ball at some of you. If I'm there throwing the med ball, make sure you guys pop it, all right? Hit! Good, get your hands ready, get your hands ready. Reset, reset, reset. Going three reps each, guys. Hit! One, two, three. Good, settle, relax. One more, come on, hit! Good, just keep your arms down, keep your arms down. All right, D-line, ready! Hit! Gotta react, gotta react. Don't jump over the hurdle, guys. Step over the hurdle with a violent step. Ready, hit! Good, hit! Good, don't hit my hurdle. Go one more rep if you guys didn't get it. Hit! Great. Three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, lateral one, two. Hit! Ah, ah, ah. Good speed. You see how you guys are almost hitting each other? Get a little bit more room, get a little bit more room. One more here. Hit! Good, 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 good. Hit! Good. O line, let's go, same thing. Guys, if you need to switch your stance, I'm gonna go one rep each guy. Everyone's going, I'm gonna coach one at a time. Ready? Hit! Good, hands low, hands low. Get more, get more width too. Don't go straight vertical. That's how you get cut back right in the inside, right? Hit! See your hands are? I want them here. Right, because you gotta tap, 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 tap. All right, hit. Good, just stay low. Stay. See how you're reaching back here, ending up on your heels. Right, makes sense. Hit. Not bad, not bad. Just more, more power on that lateral step. All right, here we go, fellas. Get where you can see. Going through. Oof. Work whatever you want. Flipping the hips and then get right. Step back a little bit. Good. Now just finish. Don't stop. You know what I mean. Fellas, I'm the quarterback, finish over here. Work that guy, get over here. Hit. Good, ready. Good, hit. Hey, more independent hands. Don't swat at it, punch it, right? Ready, hit. Good, great rep. Now just finish on me, good. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. All right, it's a lightning bolt. Set, hit. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Nice, just be careful picking that leg up. It was really a big pickup because you're trying to get that body weight. Guys, if you stay centered, keep your gravity centered when you're here, you should be able to go any which direction and feel like you got power. If you're pulling like this, you don't have power here. That split second's where you get worked, sack. Hit. You notice that, right? Every time you stop, you're like, sink your pad level. When you're kicking, you're changing direction then bringing your pad level back up, all right? Guys, after, after he works this second bag, next guy go. Set, hit. Good finish. Good finish, yep. Good finish, yes sir, great rep. Hit. Good. Hit. Last rep here, hit. Cool, O-line, D-line, come with me. So we're working a combo drill here. My defensive ends, defensive line, doesn't matter. You're here in whatever stance. This is a kicked offensive lineman. O-line, you're gonna be here. Offensive line, this is your defender. So you're gonna punch him with your off hand. I'm in my set, you guys are going first. Set, hit, one, two, three. One, two, hitting that two step back, just like we just worked. Defensive lineman, as soon as that offensive line punches and then they're getting back, you guys are working this. Don't work power, don't, don't push this to the point where it hits the offensive lineman. Work speed right now, work these hands. Ready? Set, go. Punch. Good, yeah, that's how it's gonna work. If you wanna give it a second defensive lineman, feel free. I'm the quarterback back here. Good finish, nice. Good, 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 good. Let's go, ready, hit, punch him. Give me another rep, bro, give me another rep, give me another rep, punch, 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 punch. Even though it's an offhand and it's a six inch punch, it's still gotta be violent. Ready, hit, punch, good. That's fine, good rep, good rep, way to make that work. D-line, just make it work, man. As a defensive lineman, you don't know what the offensive lineman's gonna do. He might dive at your knees, make it work. Ready, hit. 
Wait. Work him. Good. Fine. Great rep. Great rep. Patience. Patience. Ready? Hit. Good. Good, 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 good. See where I'm at? Was that a good rush move where I was at as a quarterback? No. No, you want to work? See? You, eyes there, work your move, eyes to me, right? Oh. Make sense? Cool. Yeah. This stuff is complicated. It's hard for me to work with two positions. You guys just have to listen. You guys got to execute. We're going to get really good work in the one-on-ones. So go run your times, go run fast, and then we'll get right for one-on-ones. All this stuff is, is essentially nonsense at the end of the day, guys. One-on-ones are really, really matters. All right, so we're doing one-on-ones, fellas. Defensive line on this side, offensive line on this side. And for the sake of time, fellas, number of dudes we have, we don't have, a, obviously we don't have a lot of offensive linemen, so I might just work in and work in with a pad and let you guys just work a crazy move and, and go from there. But I, I definitely want you guys competing though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start down there, one rep, one rep, one rep, one rep. I'm gonna coach every rep, guys. Be fast, be effective, work the hands. No bull rushing, don't, I don't wanna see guys on their backs in the backfield. If it happens, it happens. Get up, but, you know, just be a decent human being. Good, good, good. What happened here is you just got way too far out that rep. You know what I mean? You kicked way too far out, gave him the opportunity to get underneath. Good recovery, but you still got to the quarterback, so that's where you went wrong there. Now, next guy's up. You set, and your set was like this. It wasn't powerful. You have to set into position with authority, even though you're going backwards. You have to have that anchorage so that you can get back underneath. You got a hand fight. All right, ready, hit. Good, good, just ooh, ooh, ooh. offhand, just like we just worked, effective feet. You're gonna lose, it's all right, it's all good, ready. That's a good rep, he didn't win that rep. <laughs> Quarterback is not there. Don't hug him though, you went off the line like this? Be patient, here, here, pop. Don't hug him. Just jump too far outside, patience. Inside out, inside out, inside out, all right? Make sense? Sit, go. Good snap. Good, that'll happen. Hey, just stay up, stay up. Keep your chest up, run through, run and rip, all right? Good, 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 just finish. Just reset your hands and then anchor down. You had him, you had him dead to right. All you just let him do is you just let him win your hands and then you let him win the rest of the rep. Effort, effort, effort. Use your feet and then just drive him out. If he goes this way, that's fine, just drive him out. You know what I mean? Hit. Good, all day, all day. My DN, just be patient before you work your move. Give him a couple steps on the outside, then go. Hit. So as a center, he's here, you're snapping with this hand, right? You're right-handed. You have to beat him with your feet. Because you snapped it, and you didn't beat him with your feet, and he just walked through. Because you have to understand that this hand's going, and that it's gonna be late to the play. So I have to beat him with my feet and get in front of him, give this hand time to recover. Does that make sense? Good. That's a good rep right there. Patience, patience, good. Good stuff, that's a, that's, ball's gone. So much better, man. Beat him with your feet and you'll win the rep. Said, hit. Yep. What'd you do? You beat him with your feet and then he sold you back inside. That's a great job by you, by the way. Selling him back inside. Beat him with your feet, then be patient. You see what he just did? He was patient and he just waited, waited, waited. Hot feet, hot feet. Just like we did over there. Have hot feet, wait, box him out. You don't even have to punch him. I want you to punch him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take that to win the rep, but if you can box him out, you'll win the rep. Does that make sense? So I can tell you play on the other side. So same thing. Offensive line, we're always inside out guys. Don't over kick, because that's a defensive line that's gonna set you up one step and then drive back underneath all the time. It's the fastest route to the quarterback. So just be patient with that step and then adjust that foot and then go back inside if you have to. But you can't, it's, so, it's much harder to go out to in than it is in to out, you know what I mean? what I just say? what I just say? Feet and what I just tell everyone else? Inside out, yeah, yeah, because what you did, you did what he did, you went boom, big step. My foot's stuck in the mud, he's moving inside already, right? Inside out, it depends on his alignment, if he's way out here. But think, if I'm way out there, I'm either wanna beat you to the edge or I wanna stab and then get back underneath. So here, patient, and then take, a, take another one if you have to, all right?
Good, good. Same thing, that's all I wanna see from you is be patient. Be patient, I know you're uncomfortable in that stance, but be patient with that kick step out. Get, if anything, give me a one, two out and then go, all right? Good, continue. You got heart, kid, you got hustle, that's good stuff. Good stuff on both of you guys, really. Winning the second half, the rep is not easy. Patient, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, now you just gotta get your feet right. So much better though. Good, 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 good. Good, both of you, good stuff. Good, good, anchor, 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 anchor. Come on, bro. Good stuff. Anchor down, good stuff. Say it, go. Anchor, good. Good heart. But instead of this out of control movement, let's find the hands. You got your hands on me? I'm, I, let's find the hands and let's work them. Instead of just uppercuts down, do, 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 do. Let's find the hands and let's work them. He's gonna get a good punch, that's fine. Let's find the hands and let's work them. I want you to get another rep. Oh, sell out for it. Sell out for the bend, sell out for the bend. Get another one. I want, bo I want both those sets of groups to get another one. I want you to get another one, yes. Find the hands, yes! Come on! Find the hands and work them. Good stuff, kid. All right, let's see a sell out for a bend now. Hey! What has to happen is you had the hands beat over top, it has to drop. It has to drop. Your shoulder didn't drop, you can't bend. Fellas, good stuff. Fantastic stuff, guys. Stick around. Make sure you guys watch the one-on-ones, cheer the other guys on. Good stuff, guys. I wish I had more offensive and defensive line here here for y'all, but that was good stuff. That was really, really good stuff. You guys got better. Make sure you guys stick around for the for the break at the end. I mean, if you have somewhere to go, then obviously get there. I pray to see you again soon, but I'm gonna work with these guys and good stuff, fellas. LBs are over here. This line, right in the corner, right in the corner, right in the corner. Give me one LB up. You guys ever heard of catch technique? Yes, no, maybe so. All right, I'm this LB right here. You guys are the wide receivers. You guys are the wide receivers, all right? We're working catch technique. I know a lot of you DBs might wanna play press man. We'll get to that. LBs, this is your inside. DBs, this is your inside, okay? So as a DB and LB, let's push them to the outside. So I'm a linebacker, I'm a DB, I'm lined up. Whatever stance that you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Feet are buzzing about five yards off. Feet are buzzing, I'm gonna say set go. The wide receiver's coming. 85%, 60% sprint. Set hit, come out, settle down. The wide receivers, you're gonna be like running like a five yard, a five yard route, okay? So you're coming. As a linebacker, I'm waiting. As a DB, I'm waiting. As soon as he gets here, boom, I'm punching him, all right? We're beginning the catch technique because the catch technique, I want him to come to me. I want to force him outside and then I want to drive the hip. So full speed, can you give me a full speed rep? I'm here. As an LB, I'm always going to line up a little bit more inside. L inside is everything. So on the snap of the ball, I might get out here, just inch out here. Say it. Hot feet. Boom. Hot feet, see how my feet are still hot? I'm ready, we're gonna progress off of that. So guys, everybody's going at one time. I say set, go, one's going. Guy who runs, go to LB, go to DB, get to the back line, all right? If you don't make contact with the receiver, the odds of you winning the one-on-one -on -one rep are not very good, all right? We gotta slow him down, we gotta slow him down five yards. Ready, say it. Good, wait, wait, wait for him to get to you though. Set, hit, they go, let me go set, hit, they go, let me go set, hit, all right? Same guys. Look at your feet, are they hot? Are your feet hot? Mm-mm, they're still, right? So like this, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot, 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 boom. My feet are still hot. Just keep them hot, you gotta change direction, right? Ready, go. Good, I like that, good stuff. That's a great rep right there. Good, nice, nice, nice. Now, you go to the back, perfect, hit. Inside punch, inside punch, why? Why, 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 why do I want an inside punch? Yeah, because if I'm here and you punch me, I'm driving the inside, I'm working at a slant all day long. Punch him outside, seal the outside, push him out, all right? Hit, hot feet. Good, 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 good. Guys, LBs too. If you guys wanna keep your hands ready, it's easier for your hands to be here and just punch than they are to be way down at the bottom. Ready, hit. All right, give me another rep. Don't, don't throw a haymaker, just punch him, because as a DB, right, you have to punch, 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 punch. So don't throw a haymaker, get your hand on him aggressively, six inch punch, boom. It's not a full-fledged punch. If you try to do that, he's gonna work underneath your gun. Give me another one, ready, hit. 
Good, just don't reach for it, don't reach for it. Good, next guy. Hot feet. Don't lose ground, right? No, no reason to lose ground. If we're playing off, we're playing off. We're playing man right now, okay? So we don't wanna lose ground immediately. I'm, I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. I want him to run to me, I wanna punch him, I wanna get, get this route. Great rep, great rep. Ready, hit. Good, not bad, ready, hit. Don't lock and load, just put your hand on it, boom. Give me a five yard out, give me a five yard out, okay? Does that make sense? So now you guys are doing the same thing, but receivers, you're running 85% five yard out. Make sense? Ready, hit. Do you feel like you got any displacement there? That's why, because you waited. You waited, close the space, boom, punch him now. Get him to stand up, hit. Good, 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 good. Ready, hit. You guys want to see textbook, watch, watch my man with the purple gloves over there. Ready, hit. Nice, not bad. And guys, if you miss, the beauty of the punch is it's not a one and done thing. You always want to be restacking your, your punch and then you're re-punching. Punch, 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 punch. Finding, the, finding that soft spot in the receiver to really get displacement. Hit. Good control, good control. Ready, hit. Inside punch. Good, just be more patient, a little bit more patient. All right, guys, go in the opposite direction now, right? So let's do the same thing. Now receivers, you're just stacking the other way. Same lines, everything's, you're not running this way. So you guys are just doing a five yard out over here. So now go here and do a five yard in, make sense? So you guys are doing the same thing, just coming this way. Say it. Good. Guys, and then, and then run wrap this way so you don't run in the other one. I gotta get through this fast if we wanna get everything done. Hit. Good, patience, patience, patience. Guys, because what's gonna happen is he needs to break down here and you have to punch him. If he turns his shoulders, then you have to drive on that outside shoulder now. So what happened is you punched, his shoulder was gone, you have to re-punch, all right? Don't, do, don't use two hands, just one hand. If you use two and you fall off, you're going that way, he's going that way. Ready? Hit! Oh, easy, 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 easy. Control, fellas, control. Don't lunge at him. Punch him, displace him, and then drive his hip, all right? Hit! Great rep. So DBs, I want you guys working a post corner. So what I want you to do is I want you to play off here. You guys are gonna step on the toes again, same thing. DBs, you can let up a little bit of, of room here. The post corner is gonna be about 10, just making a 10 yard post corner, just driving out this way, all right? So DBs now, we're just giving him some ground, giving him some ground, giving him some ground. As soon as he wants to break, gotta press him. We're not pedaling to drive on it later, we're pedaling for him to step on our toes, all right? And you guys, what I want y'all to work is just a simple curl. Curl back this way. So this is the inside. So you guys are here. I'm inside leverage. You're stepping on my, come up, step in, boom, and then you're turning this way, boom. And then you're a shadow in that, all right? The most important thing we're working on right now, guys, this isn't revolutionary, it's just hot feet, being in a position to make a play, all right? This matters when we go to one-on-ones. Would, would that feel a little out of control to you? Still press and then drive, right? Press, press, drive. Say it. Give him a little, give him a little. Yeah, great rep. Let's work some press man. Why don't you walk up on him? So here we are. Press man fade. I'm here, I'm off just a little bit. He's running a fade route. He's probably gonna give me a split release. You know, split release is good. Here, boom. Now boom, boom, boom. That's it, all right? Make sense? Just getting your eyes and your feet and your hands right right now, fellas. Hit. So linebackers have to transition from the punch to the hip. And then as soon as you drive that hip and you feel that hip settle down, you know he's breaking back in. Hit. Don't drive with two hands. Punch, just like we did, like this. Do, 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 do. Hit. You can get some displacement with that punch. It's good you're getting your hand on him, but get him, get him to stand up a little bit. Hit. Great stuff. I want to see running backs here. Inside leverage, guarding the wheel. Say it. Good. You're gonna see that today. Hit. Punch, punch, punch. Get that initial punch in, guys. When you're playing press, gotta have that initial punch. Ready. Hit. Why do you think that happened? Lunging. Don't lunge. Ready. Here, here. Boom. Discipline. Good, take him right out. Hit. 
Good. Guys, LVs too, if you want to squeeze the air out of it, you're more than welcome to do that. Either he's going to step on your toes, you're going to force him to step on your toes. That's fine too. Ready, hit. Good initial punch. Just keep your feet, keep your feet and be able to react if he wants to go back inside. Hit. Good stuff, good control. There's a lot of extra stuff on that route. That was a good route. And you were disciplined enough to stay focused. Good stuff. I believe you guys are going to have an opportunity to go. Did you guys get your numbers in? Just the 40? <clears throat> so go over with the QBs, be patient with them, let them run their numbers, and then go get whatever else you need. Again, it's not, it's not gonna be perfect. If you can get your numbers, that's fine. Can I have a line of tight ends, RBs, and receivers? And RBs, you're probably gonna have to split with receivers and tight ends. You're all gonna be rotating, so it's all good. So give me a guy in front of the hurdle on this line of scrimmage. First guy's up, yeah. Everyone else just stay behind. We're working, emphasize snap downs, guys. Whatever stance you want, I don't care. It doesn't matter right now. Doesn't matter if you're this stance, this stance. Working here, set, go. Snap down, roll around. All right, so the first drill we got is those snap downs, right? So we're pushing this. This guy's at about six yards. As a receiver, to work an effective five yard in, five yard out, five yard break, we want to step on this guy's toes, have a good drop, and then we want to press either out or in. And we're going to start with just a simple breakdown, effectively get to him, and then just snap him down, all right? Yep, but it's going to be a little bit before that, right? It's never going to be like you're perfectly stepping on his toes, like your five yards. So your five yards is not going to be on him, but remember, remember, he's waiting for you to get to him. So your five yards is probably going to be like right here. Hit! Snap! Good. Snap down. Snap that chest. That chest has got to go over these knees, like you're sitting in a toilet, guys. Hit! Snap! Like that. Good, 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 good. Hit! Snap! Not bad. So you see how you're so close to this guy? Don't worry about getting a, a centimeter away from this guy. If you got to snap down here, snap down here. Because right out of your five yard breaks, you can call it five yards, but it's really a matter of steps. So if my inside foot's up, and I'm a receiver and I'm running a five yard in, uh, my inside foot's up, I'm going one, two, three, four, snap down. It's really a four step snap. It's not five yards. If I get five yards, would I rather have an effective break here or a sloppy break here? You tell me, all right? Make sense? Hit! Snap, Luke. Good. Don't snap your head, snap your chest. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes not fully up, but make sure that you're, when you're snapping, you're not just using your head to make yourself feel like you snapped down. Actually snap down. Get your chest to your knee. Hit! Also, guys, I'm seeing a lot of this. Seen a lot of guys in their stance and they're picking that foot up before they're, they're going. That's called a false step. You know what my false step? There's a wide receiver. All my weight's pretty much on this leg. As soon as that ball, as soon as I says set go, I'm driving here. Don't pick this foot up, it's wasting space. Get your knee bent, bend your knee, bend your leg. If you stand up like here as a wide receiver all day, that's not effective. You need to get where you're going now. There's no receiver pressing you. You need to get vertical as fast as possible. Hit! Good, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Line one is gonna be split release fade ball. You guys know what a split release is. I'm here, set hit, boom. I'm dropping this shoulder, I'm sliding this way. So guys, if you can get where you can see me, I want you guys rotating every rep. So here, split, drop in here. I'm just running a fade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lob you guys a ball for right now. This is not gonna be perfect. There's a lot of you guys here. Line two, everyone is gonna work a five yard curl. So this is line two, everybody, we're switching. Let me go. Inside legs up, quarterbacks here for right now. Quarterbacks this way, three detached. Line two here, snap just like we did. Put that foot in the ground, catch the ball. Makes sense? So we're gonna curl there. And then line three is gonna work a five yard in. Here, snap, get the ball, get upfield. You don't have a lot of room to work with. Makes sense? Ready, hit. Good. Snap. Hey, when you're snapping, don't rush it. Just like we just did, turn. Snap. Good. Snap. Step on his toes. Not a bad route. Just be patient with your drop. You drop so quick. It was effective, but you gave it up to the DB right there. You dropped way too fast. 
Good. See me, Luke. See me. Snap. Good stuff, Luke. Snap. Not bad. Not bad at all. Snap. Just be patient. Just like I just said, work that snap first. Your routes are pretty clean, but they can be a little bit better if you're just a little bit more patient. Right. And stay square. You, you're pivoting back before you were trying to uh, break. You were here, and you tried to go here before you even stopped. Yeah. So get this snap and then pivot back. It'll be so much more effective. Snap. Good, Luke. You see, you didn't rush that and you had an effective route. Guys, I'd rather see you have an effective route than try to take all the air out of it and have a sloppy break. Good. Keep your arms live. So you like to do that suitcase? I know you like to do that suitcase, but it gives it up. So as a receiver, I was just sitting there, I saw you take that inside hand, I'm breaking right now. I know you're snapping. Keep your arms pumping just like you are in your break. Ooh. Keep your arms going, you know what I mean? Don't drum, don't snap down, just ooh then put that foot in the ground, be so much clearer. You have the ability to run really good routes, you're just giving it away, you know what I mean? So same thing, boss. <laughs> don't, you don't have to squeeze all the air out of this. If you have to break right here, break right here. Make an effective route. So I need four lines now. Every line's gonna be another different route. For the sake of this drill, we're gonna start back here. I don't care what stance you're in, we're just running a simple wheel route, all right? You wanna attack it outside and then drive up pretty much to the inside of where that hurdle is, right? Makes sense? Luke, what I want you running is a post corner. Be here with a rocker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here, post, driving out, and then slots, me outside of this guy, run a rocker post. If you want, you know what a rocker post is? I'm here, 12 yards, ooh, ooh. rocker post. You guys are running a stop and go. You know what stop and go is? I'm here. And I'm driving. Yes, you can switch. And it's a, the same thing with a stop and go. Snap, just like we just did. Then go. Step, come on. Flat. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Good. Good. Get upfield. One step. Boom. Flatten it. Nice. Good, good stuff. Way to see that. Flatten it out. Good. Yep. Good stuff. Woo wee. One on ones. Wide receiver, DB, LB, one on ones. RB, all skill guys. Good. Patient, hot feet, hot feet, just like we just worked on. Catch technique, boom. Good way to finish. He had a sloppy route, he needs to snap more. But good, same thing. Hold your hot feet, inside hand, press and push them out. If you're running full speed, and I try to put my foot in the ground and run it out, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rounded. If I wanna run a crisp five yard out, in this situation it's red zone, I run a five yard out, I lean into the end zone, my route's crispy, I get him to step off of me, He's a few steps behind me because I had a clean break, boom, driving. He's still back there. I can catch the ball after my first, second, third step and then lean into the end zone. Yeah. But if I just hear, there's no effective break. You know what I mean? You need to snap down and then break effectively. And it's really just body, it's just body positioning as well. Good. Good rap, LB. Stepped on his toes, that was fine but you literally stepped on his toes and you yeah. didn't have a clean break. If you snap down just like we worked on the bag and then you're here, see how much distance I have? He doesn't catch me. Cause that's what I just taught them. I said, catch these receivers. Let them step on your toes and you want to catch them. If I break down quicker, I have one step that I can beat him with. And that step, if you snapped, will be effective and then you'll be able to catch the ball lean into the end zone. Make sense?
Hey, wide receiver, why would I break out when I have half a yard? You, you released out here? I'm, as a DB, I'm like, he's already way out here. I know he's going back inside. And that was easy for him just to jump that because he already beat you vertical. Now you just have to beat him lateral, but since you already stemmed yourself out of position to beat him inside, it doesn't make sense to do that. So instead of doing that, just get inside right now. Don't do all this extra stuff. Good stuff. Good catch. Hey! Way to hustle for that, baby. Good. Good, good route, Luke. Patience. Good stuff, bro. That's exactly what we worked on. Patience, punch, drive it. Not bad at all. Hey, DB, don't punch with two hands. Because as, as a wide receiver, and I, as soon as I saw you, I'm like, he's punching with two hands. I'm going to beat him. Don't go like this because he can go. Whoop. He's a bad wide receiver for not beating you with hands. He's going to beat you with hands. Punch that inside. Pivot, pivot. Get ready to punch again. Your punch is good. That was really good. But if you do that, it might work, but it might also completely fail. You know what I mean? I'm so used to like two hands. Yeah, I hear you. I, was taught, so I, just, I know. I know. But if you get a good wide receiver, like yeah. who's really understands that like, I gotta, I gotta work these hands. Like that's, that's where the difference is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good catch. You're just pressing yourself right now. Like if I'm, if I'm out there, I have no room to work outside. Yeah. So why do I want to? Unless I'm gonna run a, a fade and beat him with speed and beat him to the back corner. Like there's no reason to break outside. Okay. You have so much room to break inside. And worst case, you can. That was a good route. That was a good route. But you have so much room to work inside. Work these guys inside. I'm not. Why would I, I'm gonna let me press? All I need is one good punch. I'm out of bounds. Like yeah. that's just it's silly. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know you guys are trying to do the most and really trying to make a miss, but I'm out there. I'm, I'm the last thing I'm worried about is working outside. Unless I'm six foot five and I want to run a fade ball and I just want to you know head tap him. But that's yeah. not the case right here. They're they're literally breaking out and they're using the three yards they have outside, and you guys are destroying them. Why would I do that as a wide receiver? So as a DB, why wouldn't I position myself inside? And why wouldn't I force him outside? You know what I mean? Drive. Just don't pivot your hips too quick. You know what I mean? You pivoted and then you can't drive on that. This is slippery. Be patient, let him step on you, and then drive. Yeah. Play late, play late, play late. Good rep. All right, we worked that, we worked that. Let him step on your toes and then play late. If he beats you, that's fine. Just keep playing, run through the hands. Do as much as you can, just sprint through the hands. It's gonna happen. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep... Both of you, good stuff off the rip. DB, good, way to, way to just continue working that route, man. Wide receivers are getting strapped today. In the bucket, good stay up, stay up, stay up. Good catch. Hey! Good catch, bro. Mm. So look, here's a right receiver, right? So you, you stem them inside, you won inside. You know how hard it is to stem inside and then win the rep back outside? He just has to beat you with his body position, which just happened. Stem him inside and then work inside, you know what I mean? Yes. Bro, bro, all day. You see what I mean? Apply pressure, apply pressure. We found the recipe, huh? Hey boss, come here. So I just, what I just told him, I said, you're lined up in the slot and you're getting beat because you're giving them too much cushion to work with. Walk down, get down to three and a half yards. Yep. It throws off their whole entire route. It'll allow you to get a big punch because as a wide receiver, you know your five step release. Whether you know it in your head or not, you know it with your body because you've been running it. So as soon as I walk down and I give you a, a half less of a step or a full step less, you're like, my whole route's, I don't know what to do anymore. You're, like, you're just kind of making it up yeah. at that point. It's sloppy. He gets a good punch. He has aggressiveness, and then he's able to box you out. So I just told him to do that. Because I thought about 
going inside, but then I was, I don't know if I could stack on that, but it makes sense just to yeah. move him out. You have to. If, if, he, if he's outside, then, you know, movement. And you can't, you don't know that pre-rep, but. Yeah. And I just told another kid too, he just, he had an inside release and he tried to break outside. Like that's next level, that's elite. It doesn't work unless you have a, a, a really good receiver who's running a really good route, you know what I mean? And a, and a DB that's not in a position to win, you know what I mean? So if you're gonna do anything, you know, stem him inside, break inside, and then use his leverage to win the rep. Yeah. And then get that push off, you know what I mean? It's not, mm -hmm. just make it look legal. Good patience, good. Good stuff. Good catch. Decent release. You just got to chop. You had him. You had him beat with your body, mm -hmm. but then you just you just kept running. You let I his. Saw the ball and the a side no, side. I'm talking right here. Oh, right here. Yeah. yeah so so you here? You went here. You went boom out, and then you had him. I had, you had him dead to rights. All you have to do is his hands are here. Swipe through. You gotta feel that. If you don't feel it, then he, well, he's gonna do what he just did to you, and he's just gonna run that shoulder, run that shoulder, run that, and it makes it easy for him. You just had him beat to the outside, which is fantastic, but you just have to swipe. And as a receiver, you should always be working that swipe, always. Like, even if it's not, because as a DB, I'm just like this, I'm like, pop, 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 Like, hands, 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 hands. So just keep getting the hands off you, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Do that next time. Yeah, yeah, drive, 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 drive. Move him. Move him, move him, move him. Good stuff, good work, fellas. Jackson, just don't reach. So, hot feet, play that inside. Don't lunge at him, let him get to you and then press him with that and then just drive outside. The easiest way to lose as an offense or as a tight end in a slot is just play this guy head up and just let him press you. Because you're such a big body and you're so tall, like it's easy to get double hands on you, hug you in position. So what I wanna see you do is I wanna see you give these guys a one step and just kind of a work over. Because the hardest thing as a linebacker is if you're this linebacker here. So if I'm here, I'm working this, step on him here and then just like this. Because if I move my, my, my force and my velocity that I have going in this direction, and I run right into you, it's easy to stop your momentum. If I'm here and I step here, you weigh so much against these little DBs, it's impossible for me to stop. To me to stop you in your position, it's impossible for me to stop you. So instead of running straight into him, just pick a side. If you're running an inside route, do that to the inside. If you're running outside right, do it to the outside and just run through their hands and then, and then break. Hey, good stuff, just don't peek. Drive, so when you work that wheel, drive you, you had him beat and now just drive you were just like this the whole time run 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 it's easy for a linebacker too because you're slower when you do that hey good rep baby that's smooth work right there yeah oh bro you got to communicate with your quarterback Elite, elite route, elite route. You have to communicate with your quarterback. If I win the inside, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Bro, you had him lost on the inside. And then you, what you did is you made the quarterback throw 10 times harder, and he was able to, to gain a little ground back. You had him dead to rights on the inside. Okay? I think that was a really good route, but I think you could give yourself more space on the inside. Because you broke and you had five yards for the quarterback to drop a money ball and your, your angle was just horrible because you didn't give yourself enough room. Press him inside more and then do it. You know what I mean? Give him another two steps. So I told him what you're doing. So now give him more. Okay. Come down farther. Because okay. that's just what happens. He just adjusted his whole life based on your split. Yeah. And I then you, you caught him, and then he was in his break already. Yeah. So get, I just also say more, more, more. Yeah. Give him another half yard, give him another, like put yourself in an uncomfortable position. This will only make you a better yeah, football sure. player, you yeah, know what definitely. I mean? Pick! Mm. Yeah! 
Good stuff, both of you. Even though you're pressed like that, that's fantastic, but just be patient and then just pop them with that inside. Pop them with that inside. Pop. If you just go to hug them, like that's what happens is you get both your hands beat and then you can't recover, you know what I mean? Good job, LB. Bro. It's the outside routes. He said, he said we had that same play, so I did the same play. Outside routes, man. Did y'all get better today? Think you got better? Cool, cool, cool. Well, I was keeping tabs on y'all, and there's some very good players here, and there's a lot of players with a lot of potential. And you guys just have to, have to, have to take this off season seriously. No, a lot of you guys are some, from some really good high schools who have really good programming. Just make sure that you're taking full advantage of that. I'd love to help you guys out. I'm so happy that you guys came. And I pray that you got better today. I pray that you leave this building better than you came in. Again, guys, as you can see, it's all little details. It's all little details. We did not do anything revolutionary today. When you worked with me, it was nothing revolutionary. When you're doing stuff on this field, it's nothing revolutionary. It's making the game small and executing the little things. You need to have a task. You need to have a checklist. Hot feet, punching the inside, driving the hip. It's as simple as that, guys. And it, does, it doesn't matter what position you play. If you can develop this checklist and you can develop all these small little things, you will have extreme success on the field because when you go to college, you go to the next level, everything is the same except everybody's better and you just have to make everything so much smaller. And if you can do that now, you will excel at the high school level, you will excel at camps this off season and you guys will get offers. And that's, that's I know that's why you're here. You guys wanna get offers, you wanna go D1, that's fantastic. This is a good stepping stone for you guys, but you need to take everything that you learned today and take it out the door with you and then apply it when you have your next practice. Apply it this summer, apply it during spring ball um, if you guys got it. But I'm so happy that um, you know you guys were here. If you give me a round of applause for my coaches, we appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so much. But um, you guys know I'm on social media. Um, please, please reach out. I would love to talk to you guys. I'd love to um, recognize the faces that were here and say, you know, I probably got a list for you of what you need to work on. I'm um, so blessed that you guys came out. And if you are riding home today, I pray that you have a safe trip home. Um, and again, guys, um, if you guys just want to break it down on me, we come up here. And I just thank you all for coming out today so much. Amazing. All right, fellas, let's bring it up. Good stuff today, fellas. Good stuff. Let's go five star on three, five star on me. One, two, three. Five star. Good stuff, fellas. And that's going to wrap up the YouTube video for today. I am out. God bless y'all.